Right, so last time I was here, and I had some lads here, is um, we're infilling the floor. So we found that the floor beams were in bad condition. There was a void underneath, and some of the retaining, like the supporting walls that were underneath were actually falling apart. So instead of rebuilding these little supporting walls, we decided to infill with recycled tart one, compacting the six inch layers up to the surface level, ready for the screed. And that's where we're at now. So what we're doing here, we're just basically spotting some screed. So this is helping um, support our expansion membrane. So you want this around the edge of your screed because naturally there's movement and then you don't want it popping. So you put this around the edges when you're ready, Luke. Watch. Ready? Yeah. I'll put a load around this corner, around this pillar here. Yeah. And I can try that into level and it gives me something to work off. If you have a look closer, you'll see there's some microfibers inside the screed. And with any floor slab, what we try to do is try to reinforce it with mesh. So, cleverly, suppliers have came up with the idea of, well, why don't we chuck some fibers in that are suitable to reinforce any screed that we supply. So, as we're mixing it, we're now installing these, like they look like confetti style fibers, and they're acting as like a reinforcement. But it means then we haven't got to worry about yet another process of laying the floor and waiting. So you'd normally go, right, we'll prep a floor, we'll go around, we'll put our uh, reinforcement mesh around, and we'll pour a wet pour because it needs to get between all the steels. That's going to act as your reinforcement. This is, is built into it. I mean, if I just scoop a bit there, and just for reference, if you're going to do this, wear gloves because cementious products break down any oils and sit in skin. You see there, look, see the fibres? That's actually what's going to help reinforce the screed. So we'll chuck that in there, mix it all in, and she's going to give a bit more strength to it. So hopefully no breakdown, hopefully. We're reliant on our suppliers to pre-mix, control the mixes, uh, get delivered to site, and then we'll just barrel it in. But because we couldn't get it in time, it was a bit of a short notice thing. I was working down in Cornwall last week and asked to get onto it. First slot available for delivery was today for um, some sand and cement for us to mix. We weren't going to get a pre-mixed load till the end of the week. I'm busy. So we're trying to keep on top of the programme so we can mix it ourselves. Thankfully, I've got Dan and Luke here to help me. Otherwise, I'll be up the creek with no paddle. Right, so as you can see, we've now done the floor screening. Been a bit of a warm one, as you can see. It doesn't look like an art piece, I'll, I'll say that, because when you're checking your level and, you, and you're pulling your trowel off, you've got to go back in and you do get a little indentation until it's solidified. But this is the uh, first phase of building the floor back up. So um, what's going to happen next is we're going to have possibly maybe a little bit of latex over the floor, just take out any imperfections. I want to check the levels when it's dry. And then obviously we can look at putting the kitchen in, we can get the floor in and start building everything back up out of the ground. But today has been a great day. We've put the expansion joint around the edges, it's got a polythene underneath. We've got it all out to the doorway and it's just given that room a, a blanket. So it's now one slab. So hopefully this will make it easier for all the rest of the trays moving forward. Massive thanks to Dan and Luke from Kitchen Phoenix. They've helped me loads today. And hopefully being here whilst we're doing the level checks themselves have also seen that the floor has been put in right. So when it comes to put that kitchen in, it's a lot easier. And this is why it's so important to have all the trays working together. Even if it's just five minutes, pop your head in, what are you doing there? Let's have a look. Oh, I need this putting in. Can you do this for one here? Bosh. It saves time program. All trays working well together just makes life easy. So uh, I dare say you'll see what's going on in the next part. Um, I think we may have done Luke talk about their kitchen later on, so catch you later. <laughs>